And Clay's been good out of the bullpen, man. 15 and a third to start your time at Texas A&M. He's punched out 19, walked just three, but tall task for your first career start. One-two pitch, hit on the ground. And that is going to roll up the middle and no play for the second baseman, Austin Boast. Well placed there for Peyton Powell. Forecast said you could see Gus up 25, 30 miles an hour. Hit sharply, knocked down by Werner, but there's going to be no play as that skips away from Haas at shortstop as well. And really a couple of back-to-back -back infield singles. And this is the reality of the game. has the turnover. Yep. The 0-2 sprayed to the left side, and this is trouble, and that's going to get down for a hit. Wells is going to cut it off and keep it from going to the wall as Powell comes in to score, and so does Campbell. That is a two-run hit for Porter Brown, and Texas is off and running here in the first. Well, Sadeo's been really fastball heavy here in the first inning, and it's another one right here that Porter Brown just stays on. We talked about that wind, and it, it's not blowing quite as hard as we thought that it would. Out to left center, it maybe knocks it down a little bit in the sixth inning. So they'll strike first, and then a lot of times on a pitching change. Well, O'Dowd is made quick work of by Shane Sadeo. 3-1 hole here early. And he walked him. The 154th walk drawn by the Texas A&M Aggies, and that's seventh best in the country. That's in the dirt. Knocked down by Gilmet. Runner going, and there is not going to be a play at second. Boy, just about everybody in the country wanted this guy. Hit sharply. Deep second base. Way out in the grass was O'Dowd. Doesn't have a play, and Lavalette drives in Haas, and it's 2-1. to one. Well, Lavalette beats the shift. Second baseman's playing in a normal spot. This is probably an out, but instead playing deep. Over to the pull side. Jack O'Dowd can't get there. Lays out. Leadoff walk comes around to score and get the eggs on the board. Looking for Werner to deliver, and he can't. Called strike three. LeBaron Johnson gets that big last out of the inning. They've ever seen in Austin. Inside out swing, and that's going to get into left field for a base hit. In on the hands, and Thomas did a nice job to push that the other way. They got him. Hung up, and that's the end of the inning. Jared Thomas picked off first, and Sadeo will face the minimum to him in game. As this one bounds to the second baseman, O'Dowd, he bobbles it, and Minnick's going to be aboard. Two again to Targach. That one is hit hard. First baseman has it, steps on the bag for one, and that's a double play. For the fighting Texas Aggies. Hit hard to the second baseman, Austin Boast, has to recover, but he won't have a throw that makes it in time. For the first run of the game. Another one hit to the right side, and Austin Boast is nowhere near this one. Going to third base is Eric Kennedy, first and third for Texas, here in the top of the third. In the last six games for Texas. Hits it on a line, and that's through into left field. Another run batted in for Dylan Campbell. And it's 3-1 Longhorns. That's two singles for Campbell already today. And it looked like, again, they're trying to go fastball, which I've been impressed because Sineo has shown the ability to throw that fastball over the plate, but gotten a down count here from a pitcher's standpoint and had to throw that fastball in or third. That's, that's part of it. You know that that's going to be a part of the offense. As this one's dumped into right field in front of Minnick. And now the bases are loaded for Texas as they have delivered four straight hits here in the third. 2-2 two, two to Brown. Off-speed pitch. Floats up there. This is hit in the air by O'Dowd, who struck out his first time up. Center fielder Wells calling everybody off. Runner tags and then goes back to third. Nice throw by Wells. I mean, that was right on the screws. 2-2 two, two pitch to Daly. Ground ball. And that's going to get Texas A&M off the field. Ty Sexton, how about you? Round of applause from the big crowd at Blue Bell Park in this rivalry game. Sounds like a country song. Line drive into right center field, and that's going to get down and run all the way to the base of the wall. Trevor Werner on his horse. Heading for third. Here comes the throw. Oh, they got him. And they got him can't by a it. long way. Can't do it. You just can't do it. You can't make that third out of third base right there. For some right-handed answers out of that bullpen. 
But Sexton delivers a walk here. Texas has changed a lot since going to the College World Series last year. They lost a lot of players to professional baseball, KP. Look at this. I mean, six of the nine from their, their usual starting nine gone. Messenger. And say with a high level of certainty, I don't think that you will either. <laughs> the bottom part of the order, the 2-2 pitch. Strike three called, he got him. Sexton gets off the hook in the fifth as Texas has left eight on base. 3-1 pitch. This one's hit well. Good charge into this ball toward the gap. And that's going to get down. Hunter Haas on his Haas. Rounding second, heading for third. Here comes the throw, not in time. 12-game hitting streak for Hunter Haas. He's aboard nobody out in the sixth. Yeah. He's one of the up-and-comers and, and risers in this sport, a big-time hitting coach. And, and those first two kids in this lineup, he's a big reason why they're there. Moss with the base hit. Haas scores. And here comes Texas a and It's now 3-2. A little bit elevated, and it's not an easy at bat for a left-hander at all. Left on left, David Shaw has that low three-quarters action. You can see the front side of Moss kind of heading down towards first base right there. Again, it looks like that baseball is coming from back behind, but elevated makes it easier for the hitter to stay on it. 2-2 two -two pitch. Ground ball to the shortstop. And that's a double play. Popped up. Fair territory, the third baseman, Powell. He's got it. So the Aggies were threatening to have a big inning in the sixth. They'll have to settle for one. Haven't looked back. Put in play. It's going to be a tough play, and Hunter Haas, in fact, won't have a throw. Porter Brown a hit, by the way. Ground ball. Could be two. It's second for one. On to first, and the throw gets away. So they'll settle for one. Daly's going to try to bunt his way on. And it's a good bunt. Bard hopping out. Won't have a play. So how about that use of the bat to get aboard with two out? Do something here with O'Dowd in scoring position. Ground ball. Backhanded. Boast. Throws. And they got him. So Aschenbeck gets out of the inning. And Texas strands two more. David didn't have him out of the bullpen. But they managed there, too. This is to left. And it's dropped by Porter Brown. Now a fairly 25. We'll get to see this at least one weekend a year every year. What a play by Jared Thomas at first to keep that one from going into right field and to protect this Texas lead. <laughs> Off the end of the bat. Haas has had some issues tonight. The throw barely got him, and you can see that Eric Kennedy wants a review. Yeah, so the shift on, but Haas stays put at shortstop. So he's playing his normal shortstop position. Eric Kennedy called himself safe. That, that, that doesn't always matter. And I think in this case, Eric Kennedy was right. As you hit the front part of the base, two things happen. One, it's safer. Two, it's quicker. In this case, quicker was the difference. And I, I think this one does get overturned. Foot down, ball's not there yet. Kennedy's safe. Well, that's the first time we've had one overturned tonight, Kyle. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Ground ball. Going to be a tough play. Knocking it down his post. He won't have a throw. And now runners at the corners in one out. The slider is outside. And Campbell will get first base. And now the bases are full of Longhorns. And one out for the cleanup hitter, Gilmet. Oh, they're hit him. And Texas now leads it 4-2. 2-2. I don't think they're going to get to. It's going to be too slow. And another run scores. So Porter Brown with a productive swing that puts the ball in play and makes it 5-2. David Pierce, you will take this trade every day right here. We'll give up a run if we're going to push one across. And a good idea right here by Hunter Haas, the shortstop. No reason to throw that ball. Again, the 2-2 popped up. 
That should end the inning. Werner camps under it. And Texas A&M will get off the field in the top of the eighth. 3-1 to Moss. Hit on the line. Into center field. A two-out single. Back-to-back -back hits for Moss tonight. Walked him. That's just the second walk tonight for Texas A&M. And the first since the leadoff man in the first inning, Hunter Haas, got aboard on a free pass. Got him. And A&M will get nothing in the eighth inning. Absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of midweek games that ultimately are not really going to help. Has got a chance to find their way back into a regional. And Texas looks really good so far. Oh, that's, that's placed well perfectly on the field by Jared Thomas. Money, Alabama, new ballpark. Auburn's put struck a him out. It. The one-two. It's going to be a tough play, and it's under the glove of Austin Boast and into right field. Struck him out. Missed it. Did that hit him or did he walk him? It hit him. Oh, it hit him. Two balls in one strike. Swung on, wrapped to the second baseman. It's bobbled. They're going to have one play, and that's to first. 2-2. Two -two. Struck him out. Strike three called ball game. Texas has done it again. The longest active winning streak in the country goes to 15 games.